Hello everybody, this is Chris Mackey and this is your 11th tutorial video on, on Honeybee Energy Modeling. And this is the last one in which we're going to be sort of focusing on the, the rules of geometry in Energy Plus. Um, and specifically this one is going to be about uh, curved geometry in Energy Plus. Which is actually kind of, I mean, you actually won't hear that statement too often that, uh, that, that curves, curves into Energy Plus. Um, and that is because, well, okay, well, we're going to focus on this building here, this, this curvy, curvy swoopy thing that, uh, that we've split into building masses in, in, the, previous, uh, in the previous video. And, um, and, and the reason why uh, you'd find it sort of oxymoronic to have the word curves and energy plus in the same sentence is because in energy plus there is no such thing as a curved surface. In energy plus there, is, there, is no, there are no nerves. There are no splines. There aren't even any circles or arcs or, or anything, any spheres or cylinders. There's none of that. None of that exists within the geometry understandings of energy plus. The only thing that energy plus understands is a planar surface. And that, and that is why, that is, that is a sort of hard, why we need a whole video on this uh, to explain exactly what happens now. Because the thing is, you could still run this, this, this geometry in Honeybee. You could still actually run it through Energy Plus. But there's an important um, set of processes that go on in order, to, in order to be able to run something like this through Energy Plus. And that's what this video is going to talk about. It's going to talk about sort of how it's formatted, how this is essentially turned down, turned down, or extrapolated down into a bunch of planar surfaces that Energy Plus understands. Um, and so, all right, so we're going to start, I mean, we have coming out of this, the, our B reps that, uh, that, you know, that are represent this, this, uh, this zone over here. And so we're going to just work this in uh, with, uh, with sort of with the workflow that we had for, uh, for setting up the zones for my parents' house. Um, and maybe, maybe let's see, we'll simplify this down a little bit. I mean, maybe we don't, we don't necessarily need all of this, uh, all of these things in here in order to be able to run it. Um, so actually, yeah, I mean, for example, I think I'm going to take out the glazing uh, based on, of, of different ratios based on different places. Well, actually, first I'm going to set that to false. But yeah, let's, let's simplify this down because, I mean, because already curved geometry is very complex. Um, and so, so for the, especially just for a little demo like this, uh, we don't want to, we don't want to like drive ourselves crazy. So, all right, and uh, and maybe we'll get rid of those those other geometries there. Um, so, all right, and and this you guys had kind of seen from another video. So I'm gonna I'm gonna sort of uh, simplify it down. All right, so we've got our our 12 zones essentially, four for each level that are coming out of this component. And when we uh, when we run them through uh, through these components, you'll see that the things that we still get out are still curved geometries. So I'm going to do that quickly. I'm going to turn the preview off on this. Um, well, I'm going to keep those because those are the house B reps. Then we're going to come back to those in later videos. But I'm just going to disconnect them for now and connect up those split building masses um, from of that that curved geometry. And uh, and let's see, and we'll have it solve adjacencies on those, which you guys already know how that works from the previous videos. And we'll have it produce a glazing ratio. Um, and let's see, I mean, let, maybe we're, we won't be. This is important because yeah, because I want you guys to be able to see exactly what happens when when we assign glazing to to curved geometry. Because it's obviously it's a very difficult thing to figure out, especially to make sure that you have the right ratio. So I'm going to make uh, all of the well, not that uh, all of the the uh, glazing ratio 0 0.4 for all all the windows and so I'm gonna just connect that up there such that all right I think we're pretty much ready yeah we don't want the simulation to run al already yet but um, I'll turn the preview on here so we can see it so I'll just set this to true now and uh, and now we'll, we'll you know sort of take these these curved geometries and turn them into zones solve the adjacencies on them which you guys know so that you know so that each of the zones know that they're next to each other and assign glazing to them and you'll see that the glazing uh, you kind of see my cursor is freaking out a little bit now and that's actually because the process by which the the com the glazing component calculates the correct ratio um, the correct glazing ratio based on on that that point four that we input there is that it will start to offset the curve on each of those, and also the outline curve on each of those those uh, those surfaces. Okay, and here you guys, here you see it. So what it did is essentially it offset the curve, and it did a sort of guess and test, uh, guess and test method until it found just one that was close enough to that uh, that 0 0.4 uh, glazing ratio that we had requested, uh, essentially. And so then that's that's how it's it's sort of so we were able to to get glazing um, for this curved geometry that you're going to run through energy plus and this was just to go to show you guys that that's possible that that we have things that deal with that and that should work for almost any curved surface 
Um, but now there's now there's another sort of thing, a set of things that happen. Now I mentioned that we have to convert this into planar surfaces somehow. And that's something, I mean, because you'll see that this is still, these are still curved B-reps here. I mean, if you were to look at what comes out of here, these closed B-reps that are coming out of, out of the glazing ratio component, everything is still curved. I mean, and you can, you can see that. I mean, it's, it's like if you were to deconstruct those B-reps, you'd see that it's, you know, each one of them's curved. They're not, they're not in planar surfaces. But now, but let's say, all right, we don't want to, I'm not going to run energy plus in this one because, and I'll get to that, because actually it can take a very long time sometimes to run this curved geometry through energy plus because you get all these little extra services and that ups the calculation time. But now let's say if I write an IDF of, of these zones with all this curved geometry and, uh, and, and I'll import that. IDF back into into uh, Grasshopper. As you guys had seen in a previous video, we have a little component that does that. So, all right. So let's sorry. Right, let's bring Grasshopper back up there. And now let's say so. If we have this, uh, where is it? It's under under the nine energy tab. There is a component that brings back the IDF in this Honeybee import IDF. And you see if we take, I mean, as you guys already saw in the previous videos, you get out of this the IDF that was written, you know, with these honeybee zones. And if we read that IDF back into, into Rhino Grasshopper, and it will, it'll turn that IDF essentially into a set of, uh, of honeybee zones for, for us. Um, so that we can, you know, use all of our other components with them and sort of understand what is, what's gone on. Um, so, all right, so this is actually, you'll notice actually it's taking a while to read everything back, and that's because these surfaces, these, uh, you know, these curved surfaces have been broken up into all little planar bits and pieces so that, you know, so that they roughly approximate, uh, you know, what, what, the, uh, what the actual one is. Okay. All right. And now you guys can see here, you can begin to see because it's outputting these closed B reps here. Um, so if I turn the preview off there and actually, and let's, let's view it. I think it'll be nicer to sort of view it this way. Just connect the honeybee zones up to our typical uh, separate based on type component so that you know I mean well you guys kind of got the sense there what you saw is in the kind of grasshopper red color uh, transparent red color but this this I think will be a little bit clearer and and you know we wanted the other geometry on top of it and okay yeah so now you're seeing you're getting a sense of what's actually happening here um, when, when, and, and also you're able to see kind of what happens when you read the IDF back so this this is actually giving a very deep understanding of what what happens in energy plus so energy plus needs it, the way it actually understands window geometry is also that I mean it's not that it understands it by uh, you know it, it understands it as being coplanar essentially with the wall surface and that's why we kind of end up with this redundancy here where like we're actually getting the windows coming in on top of the walls that you see here um, but also you guys are getting a very clear sense of how this this curved geometry was broken up into lots and little little planar surface surface bits that energy plus can understand um, and you know and you can imagine you have all these extra surfaces it'll take you know several times more I mean maybe two to three times more uh, to run this this um, this type of geometry through energy plus then then probably you know you can think of probably ways that you could planarize it yourself before you run it through energy plus and that would that would be a lot quicker and, and I mean and to I guess to kind of give you guys a sense of scale I know uh, let's see. What one of one of our awesome beta testers, Daniel Nielsen, had a, a building that was almost all all the walls were curved. Almost all the walls of this building, and he had 54 zones in this building, and they were all curved. And uh, to run that through Energy Plus was about 45 minutes. Um, so the thing is, yeah, I mean, if you had planarized some of the surfaces, you could probably get it down to be a lot quicker. But but I mean, but of course, he wants to, you know, he was, he was awesome because he tested out that ability for us and always takes stuff to the limits. Uh, we, we love you, Daniel. Um, all right. So but but that I mean, this kind of gives you a sense of what's happening with the curved geometry, it gives you a sense of how much longer it's going to take because you have all these little extra bits of surfaces that Energy Plus has to calculate heat flow across. Um, and, and you also, you guys even got an intuitive sense of, of how the fact that the windows in energy plus are actually coplanar to the uh, to the to the wall surfaces which is probably more than you even needed to know um, but I mean but just just I mean just so you guys understand that if you ever read back an IDF that those those surfaces are going to be coplanar all right, so you guys understand how the how curved geometry works in Energy Plus. You understand you know, what the the power and the capabilities that you get uh, from Honeybee and that. And actually, I will say I think we're like we're probably at least one of the only, if not the only, uh, uh, platform that really allows you to sort of run geometry that is that is intrinsically well curved 
uh, you know, easily through Energy Plus by, by meshing it, as you see here. Um, and a lot, of, a lot of other platforms will force you to sort of, you know, planarize it before you run through it. Um, and I mean, it un, you know, sometimes that's understandable because you don't want it to run so long. But you guys see what we set up to, with, you, with you here. And, you know, and if you have the fast computation speed, then, you know, why not just like simplify the work for yourself and run the curved uh, surface and, you, you know, through Energy Plus and the way that we break it up here. So, so you guys know that that's there. Um, and that's going to conclude our sort of, uh, you know, small set on... Um, on the laws of geometry and energy plus uh, and if you guys wanted more information again I know I've cited this in the past two two videos um, but there's a this awesome reference document here that that's you know getting started with energy plus that will walk you through zoning uh, the basic principles of zoning if you're not so sure how to break up your building or you know how to break up surfaces into curved things and and yeah and I can definitely recommend that all right, guys. Well, thank you for watching this tutorial. And in the next one, we're going to start getting into um, into other parts of the energy simulation. Well, actually, we're going to go into another workflow that allows you to to you know make custom uh, zones surface by surface. So look forward to seeing you guys there. And thanks for thanks for watching.